I was up again at 4.30 a.m. working late, and that's kind of the life of an editor. Projects are always due, so you're always pulling all-nighters. However, this night, I got a few messages from Taylor. Yeah, so Taylor kicked me out. I didn't know what to do, so I went back to California, and now I'm at... I'm at Hooters trying to find myself a new host. Wish me luck. So excited. That was a joke. I, I was actually too intimidated. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. It's a Vuk crew. I don't think I've started a video in a while without some sort of like dramatic cinematic sequence. Oh, screw it. Let's just do it. It really feels like a true friendship, and though it's only been two weeks, <laughs> living together has really expedited our friendship process. You know that feeling when you meet someone and you think you'll be friends for the rest of your life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Taylor's mom. I hope you know that the choking scene was completely a joke. I respect your daughter so much. All right, so really fast, I'm just gonna answer a quick few things so that I don't clickbait you guys way too hard. Oh, by the way, Taylor's mom has apparently seen these videos now, so if you guys are gonna comment anything, please comment some really nice things. I'd appreciate that. I think Taylor would appreciate that too. If you guys are wondering, did Taylor and I get into a fight? Did we have a breakup? Doesn't even make sense, we weren't even dating. We're just friends, by the way. I know you guys keep asking. Did she replace me with another couch surfer? And the answer is no, no, and no. The reason why I love California is because I had obligations to something I made months in advance and that's why I'm currently in California and I'm on a road trip all the way through Oregon, Washington, Montana, Idaho, Wisconsin, Utah, Arizona, and back to California. And to be honest, traveling gets really expensive. It is super annoying. You're always dealing with flights, car rentals, hotels. Loki kind of a privilege. So the sponsor of today's video is actually Hopper. What? And Hopper. Really? I just used that. Wait, did you really? Yeah, no, really. Oh shit. I'll put you on camera. I'm trying to find a good flight to, you know, meet up with my friend. Hopper popped up. They had the great rate. I feel like you sound really scripted on camera. This is actually not like <laughs> he actually used hopper i really did this is literally no cap this is his app has his booking what like, app? Look, it's the hopper app it's like a travel app I so Hopper is 100% free, by the way, which makes it even better because I freaking love free things and it's supposed to save you guys money. So Hopper uses data-driven technology to basically find you guys the best prices for car rentals, flights, hotels, anything in between. Hopper uses advanced data technology that can predict with 95% accuracy if the flight will go up in price or down in price. So right now I'm actually on the Hopper app and one of the coolest features is it's actually color-coded on dates and you can determine if the ticket you are buying is expensive, if it's normal priced, or if it's cheap. Red is expensive, yellow is normal, and green is cheap. But my absolute favorite feature of the Hopper app is the price freeze feature. Is the price free the price freeze feature. You ever want to go traveling with your friends and you see a really cheap flight, but you don't want to book it because what if your friends don't book it and then you book it and then you have to fly to a different country without them or you can't fly at all and you just wasted all this money. I know that is something that pisses me off. So you decide not to book the flight at all. And what happens is when you go back and check a week later, the price went up. With Hopper's price freeze feature, you can lock in the best rate for an extended period of time. That gives you time to think about your trip and make a decision if you want to book it. If the price increases, you pay at the price you locked in at. If the price decreases, you pay the lower price and get your deposit back. If you use my link in the description to download Hopper, you'll get $10 of carrot cash towards your first booking. It's been a while since we got to sit down and chat. I feel like that kind of sounds like a rhetorical question because obviously I'm not having this conversation with you guys, but if you guys want to let me know how you guys are doing, comment below. I read all comments. I think I respond to like 85% of them. You're probably wondering how I ended up in California on this road trip with influencers. Well, it's because of this guy. His name is Seth. He reached out to me in February talking about all these opportunities that we'd have. To be honest, I didn't really know that much about it, but he seemed like a nice guy. And fast forward four months later, because I had already made those agreement to obligations, I am now driving up the coast of California with three other influencers on a crazy road trip. I can't tell you exactly what we're doing yet, but it is super freaking exciting. Super epic. I think this might be one of the craziest things I've ever done in my entire life, but I'll explain that more later. I'm also kind of nervous about hanging out with influencers. Not that I don't hang out with creators already. I'm always hesitant about putting creators on my videos because I don't want you guys to think that I only hang out with creators and I only hang out with people that make videos or are famous. Not that I'm famous. I don't want people to think that I only hang out with people because of clout. Yeah. 
clout. I built making these videos on hanging out with strangers and developing human connection. And I know that I've been posting a lot of girls on my videos. And that's honestly just because girls get views. And, and these are real experiences. But to be honest, they're a lot more spread out than you think. I actually have had only like five dates in the past like three months. That's like not that many, I feel like. But because I keep posting them back to back to back, you guys think I'm just hopping from girl to girl every single week. I'm not. If you guys never knew that I never wanted to stay in the East Coast, I absolutely hate it here. The only reason why I stayed was actually to hang out with Mike. Like, I, that's the biggest reason why I stayed in the East Coast for six months. And I don't regret it at all because I had such an amazing time. I learned so much from Mike. I got to help out Mike. And I got to meet all these insane, crazy people and go on these crazy experiences. Did I tell you I explored an abandoned skate park with the manager from Walmart? <laughs> Who does that? Who gets to do that type of stuff? Me. Because I live like the best life in the world to me. I also don't shower that much because I live out of my car sometimes. But that's besides the The biggest reason why I moved in with Taylor is because one, she, she seems super down and really cool to live with. But also because I genuinely didn't have a place to live on the East Coast anymore. I was going to drive through all the states in California again and go on a crazy epic adventure. Because Taylor lives in Connecticut right next to Mike, I thought that would be an amazing opportunity to do something that I've always wanted to do on my bucket list. And also being able to be there for Mike if he needed anything for the last month of me in the East Coast. Which is ironic because he really didn't need me anymore. <laughs> I just want to say, by the way, that I am so grateful for the two weeks that me and Taylor have already had. I know you guys think we're gonna get married and we have all this energy, which is, I feel like a little bit too soon because it's only been two weeks, but I've had the most amazing time. She is so respectful and caring. I really think I can see us being best friends in the future. We, at this point, are still really good friends. I call her like every other day hey, right now. Hey, how's it going? Good, I only cried once today, so I'm okay. You cried over me? Nice. No, no, no. It might be like a stupid little two minute conversation or it can be a little 30 minute, one hour deep conversation talking about our feelings. Also, I wanna put this to rest. Do I think me and Taylor are gonna date in the future? No, none of us date. We don't date people. Taylor says she's not really into dating and me, well, I'm a nomad. How could I ever date someone? I jump from place to place to place. Maybe one day though, I'll settle down for someone, but not anytime soon. I remember thinking like, there is no one dumb enough to let a complete stranger move in with them. Like, to be honest, people don't even like living with strangers in college because what if they're super messy? What if they're disrespectful? What if they're always bringing over people all the time? What if they're really weird about space? Some people are just uncomfortable around other people. Like, I, like me, I am so uncomfortable in front of this camera. I always screw up and talk so weird in front of the camera. I just, ugh, I'm getting used to this. Where I'm getting used to talking to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Usually when you live with your best friends, they always say that you never become best friends afterwards. So I thought maybe if I live with a stranger, I'll make a best friend, which is, I feel like actually happened. This one time I lived with my best friend and I used to sex style him all the time. If you guys didn't know, sex styling is a really prevalent thing at UCLA, especially because rent at UCLA is insanely expensive. It's like $1,000 to split a bedroom, to split a bedroom. So if one of your friends brings home a girl or a guy, the other person usually sleeps on the couch or is just doesn't come into the room to let you get busy. And this one time I brought home this girl and so my roommate was so kind enough to sleep on the couch that night. This girl was very loud. My God, I had to put my hand over her mouth because she was basically screaming. <laughs> the worst part was not only does my best friend sleep on the couch, but, but my other friends actually live in the apartment next to me. I don't think they'll ever let me live this one down. But yeah, living with roommates can be complicated sometimes. Taylor was crazy enough to let me live there for two weeks. The two weeks have been absolutely amazing. I think you guys have seen from the videos. What are also what is up with all these comments talking about me getting friend zoned? What if I friend zoned them? Okay. So I mentioned before that the main reason why I'm leaving is this guy named Seth. And so Seth invited me to a few LA influencer events. We went to a few content houses, which is always like so weird to me. Like a house full of content creators. I feel like it's kind of as cringy as it sounds. But being there, I always feel a little uncomfortable because I, you know, don't have the biggest follow in the world but aside from that i feel like the type of videos i make are really different than most of these people not saying either of ours is better or not but while there i gotta meet like a really good group of friends now i've somehow roped up into a road trip up north through oregon washington montana idaho utah arizona i'm kind of in a creator bus almost i'll tell you guys more about it later the reason why i can't finish this video series is i had to sign a contract i'm now obligated to post for this video series and i'm actually not even too worried about it because I know you guys are gonna love this video series so much. It's gonna be so freaking insane. 
I can't wait to start editing the videos because it's crazy. We're doing some crazy things. Stay tuned and subscribe. Just watch episode one. I think you guys will really like it. Just to reiterate, me and Taylor are taking a small break because I need to leave. And then finally, I'll go back and finish off the series with Taylor. Thank you guys for supporting the channel so much. I've grown so much, but also my engagement has been absolutely incredible. I feel like a channel my size should not be getting this many views. You guys are the freaking best. Peace, Fu Crew.